my girlfriend's favorite YouTuber of all time. Hard to see, but that was uh, Casey Neistat there on his boosted board. How freaking cool. Off he goes. I'm just having some uh, nachos here. Smack in the middle of New York City. What a trick. YouTuber, then kind of the quintessential New York experience would be to run into Casey Neistat. And that just kind of happened. He didn't notice me. I was eating uh, nachos there. It is about 3.30 in the afternoon. I've been busy like uh, editing my latest uh, video all day and then just headed out to find some lunch and was sitting there and lo and behold, Casey just... Uh, cruises by with a camera and riding on his uh, boosted board even though he lives in LA now so I guess he's back in New York City so he uh, cruised down this way and the uh, chances of finding him are extremely slim but I thought that I would just Wander in this direction and see what happens. You never know. Maybe uh, find him. And so let's go on a little quest and see if we can find where uh, Casey Neistat uh, headed off to. Here at uh, 28th Street West. And what do we got here? Uh, Broadway. This is a uh, losing mission, basically. I mean, that was like 15, 20, maybe 15 minutes ago. Did he headed uh, down here? So, on a uh, you know skateboard <laughs> and an electronic one at that. So, unlikely to uh, find him again. But man, that was just so random. So, another random thing that happened yesterday. Somebody else that I ran into, Drew Binsky. I was in my hotel, which is like right near where I was having the nachos. Again, I was editing all day uh, yesterday and stepped out like 7.30 uh, or something in the evening. And like 10 seconds after leaving my hotel, walking down the street, then Drew Binsky walking along in my direction. So I stopped him and uh, talked with him. Didn't get a picture or anything, but uh, just a, a quick like three, four minute conversation. He was here for a couple of days, same as me. I'm leaving tomorrow, and so uh, really cool to run into him. He has visited every single country in the world except one. Pretty sure that he has just one country left to visit. I don't remember which uh, country that is. All right, where's Casey? He's around here somewhere, just a few blocks away. So if nothing else, then at least this has uh, kind of inspired me to get out and see a bit more of the uh, city here. 
I've been in my editing uh, days, you know, squirreled away there. I wasn't planning on making a, like, New York City tour. Just, uh, limited time and, uh, I'm already, like, way behind on the editing as it is, so... Here you go, this is kind of the impromptu New York City experience. So many people are out and about. That is like the really cool thing about New York is so many people on the streets as opposed to a lot of cities in the US where you kind of feel like you're like the only pedestrian or one of the few, you know, walking around. Everybody else is in their cars or in their offices or homes or whatever. Here, just so many people on the streets, walking around, you feel like you're part of a community. Of other people who don't have a car, I actually have a car, and I am picking it up tomorrow. Flying back to Oregon. Picking up my uh, Honda CRV. It's been parked at my friend Eric's house in Salem for the past uh, almost four months since I've been traveling through Europe to Greece, Italy, Switzerland, Germany, back to Greece, Poland, Spain, Ireland, New York City. I was here 11 days ago or so. And then, uh, Flew to Antigua in the Caribbean, spent nine days in Antigua and then flew back here two days ago. Let's just go this way because there's a walk sign. Arrived back in uh, NYC here two days ago and then uh, flying tomorrow to uh, Portland. So there you go, four months of traveling in a nutshell. And uh, I have to say, looking pretty unlikely to uh, come across Casey around here. But I'm curious now, like, it's so what was he filming? Because they had the uh, camera. He hasn't posted in a long, long time. I don't remember the last uh, video that he posted. But I think it's been like months. So maybe he's uh, in the process of a, a YouTube video or else something else. So we'll see, maybe uh, something will pop up. By the time that I post this video, then uh, it will be probably a couple of weeks after I filmed it. Let's see, today is September. I landed here on the, was it the 14th or the 15th? All right, let's uh, check the phone. It is September uh, 16th or 17th, Thursday, September. 16th, 3.38 p.m. Lots of these sidewalk uh, restaurant eating places. Sign of the times. So the question is, if you were Casey Neistat on a boosted board, where would you be going? Like to the, uh, the waterway, the uh, whatever. Bicycle paths, running paths along the uh, ocean there, seems likely. I have no idea where I am. Okay, Union Square West, Broadway, and East 17th Street. Nice little square here. I don't recognize this area of New York at all. I don't know if I've ever been here before. This is like my, I don't know, like maybe fourth time in New York. Let's see. First time, 2006. I came here with my mom. It was a trip that she had already planned, 
I think by herself and then she kind of invited me last minute or something like that and like offered to pay for it because I was living in Portland at the time and kind of broke and so I flew out here and uh, met her and we spent 10 days on Manhattan in this really funky like a uh, hostel but with a private room that we shared like obviously two beds and explored all around uh you know doing various excursions tours and whatnot just like all on manhattan except that uh we took a day trip to washington dc my first and only time to the capital took a train down there for the day and then came back, but otherwise just all on Manhattan. And so that was my first time, 2006. Let's see, second time. Then I had a uh, layover here in uh, 2017. I was flying from Las Vegas, where I'd been for like a week, and uh, flew to Sweden, Stockholm, and had a like 12 hour layover during the day here in New York. I think from uh, JFK landed there and then came into the city and recorded a video how expensive is new york city mostly in the uh downtown business district area cool market what's the uh happening scene over here lots of police around so uh hmm Strange. I guess the third time would have been after I was in Scotland and the UK. Then I flew to Iceland. London to Iceland. It was the end of my uh, 90 days in Europe. It was another... Europe trip in which I used up like the entire 90 days and I calculated it exactly. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. And so I had like figured out exactly how many days I had left to spend in Iceland and it was like four days. And so I flew out of Iceland on my 90th day in the Schengen zone of uh, Europe. And then I guess it was a direct flight to New York. Can't remember exactly, but it must have been because I know that I came here next. Some really amazing smells, lots of uh, incense around. I guess maybe the uh, Krishnas. And so uh, that was January 2019. And then the next time, I believe, would have been just 10 days ago when I flew from Ireland, direct flight Dublin to Newark, New Jersey, and just spent one night in uh, a hotel in Queens and then caught a flight from JFK to Antigua where I just spent the past nine days in Antigua and then flew back here two days ago in order to uh, catch this flight to Portland. So there you go, the uh, history of my New York experiences. Okay, where'd Casey go? <laughs> it is definitely getting into the uh, astronomically improbable territory of running into him again. Oh. So, uh, that girl's shirt there said, Trey Cool. Trey Cool is the drummer for Green Day, who I went to high school with in Willits, California. He was in another band before Green Day. Man, what were they called? 
the lookout. And uh, that was maybe still when I was in high school. I graduated from high school in 1989. That was actually from uh, Berkeley High School. You know, he was in this band and, and I had the uh, album. It's good, it's like, you know, classic punk. Just garage punk. And then I was living in Eugene, Oregon when somebody or other told me that uh, Trey had gone big with his new band. But the person that told me this didn't tell me the name of the band. And so I had no idea what to look for. And eventually then I guess like the uh, music videos came out and then I saw Trey in the uh, Green Day music videos and was like, hell yeah, man, good job, you made it. And so uh, Trey was in the same circle of friends that I was in. So we hung out along with Abram. Many of you uh, will have seen Abram in previous videos. Then uh, for, you know, ninth and 10th grade basically because 11th grade then I transferred down to the Bay Area because my uh, parents divorced. And so I went with my dad and my brother down to uh, Oakland, Skyline High School and then Berkeley High School and graduated there. But uh, ninth and 10th grade, I don't remember when exactly I first like met Trey, but uh, high school days, then uh, we were all hanging out and partying and stuff. Anyway, Trey Cool, not his real name. Now I forget, it's definitely Frank, like Frank's, Frank something the third, Frank Wright the third, something like that, I think. So I just saw this mosaic from the other street over there. Thought I would just go uh, take a look and check it out. Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the USA, 1918. Nice mosaic. Ukraine is a country that uh, I was hoping to go back to this summer and didn't make it. Hope to go back again soon. How do you say that one? Stoyvesant? What kind of a word is that? Where is that from? Naked Lynx. All right, man, where's Casey? It's possible I could still come across him. That would just be like, basically a miracle at this point. Despite Manhattan being a little island. There is a lot going on here. It is a maze of uh, streets and shops. So much packed into this little area. And at this point then I have truly no clue where the heck I am. I know that I'm going south. I got my phone, but you know, whatever. I'm just walking. My phone isn't gonna help me find Casey Neistat at this point. So I wanted to mention about uh, Abram and uh, Trey Cool of Green Day. Abram went to one of their concerts a number of years ago, like maybe 2013 or somewhere around there. And he managed to uh, get backstage to go 
talk with the band because he had come prepared with uh, our uh, high school yearbook. And so we had the uh, yearbook, which I guess also had Trey in it, probably. And then showed himself to like the security guy and was like, I'm a friend of Trey's, you gotta let me in. Along with another friend of ours, uh, John Sullivan, childhood friend of ours, the two of them managed to uh, get backstage and go uh, hang out with the band. So uh, pretty cool. For being a small island, it is not that small, especially when you're walking. I've been walking a lot and you can't see the end of the city yet. I sort of thought I would have arrived like in the uh, downtown area around like the uh, World Trade Center. I don't even know where it is. I mean, I could be going in the complete opposite, totally wrong direction for all I know. Pretty sure I'm like going the right way as far as heading south. George Floyd, RIP, Imagine Dragons, band that I've like vaguely heard of, no idea what they sound like. So uh, the question is, how much longer am I going to keep on walking when I'm getting tired at this point? And uh, my video will have finished by now. The latest video that I'm uh, editing is my uh, Ireland road trip. It's like 49 minutes long. I just uh, edited almost the entire thing today. Some of it yesterday and then most of it today. And so it should be done, and so I need to get back there in order to uh, watch it through and then get it uh, started uploading. So I think I'm going to turn it around sometime soon up ahead here. Maybe just go like to the end of another block or two. Maybe I'll even find the uh, subway going back and save my legs. So I thought that I would finally look at my phone and figure out where the heck I am. Also, I wanted to see how far have I come walking, which I can easily figure out because I just got to plug in my hotel, which is where I started. Going back there, how long that would be. There you go. Hotel at Fifth Avenue. 41 minutes of walking. Doesn't say uh, how far yet. Let's see. Two miles, good little ways. Three kilometers, 0.62 miles is one kilometer. So I'm at Ken Mare Street and Bowery and pretty close to the uh, southern tip of Manhattan now. So I figured as long as I am that close, I might as well uh, go the rest of the way and oh boy get to the water maybe you can see the uh, Statue of Liberty Dua Lipa I like her in part because she's Kosovan Kosovar Kosovoan from Kosovo Albania. She's Albanian, Kosovar, English, raised in uh, England, but uh, family is from Kosovo, so cool name. Pretty cool songs, like not bad for like typical kind of pop stuff, but uh, she has uh, good energy. So it looks like there's something going on down here, maybe a little uh, street festival. That's a detour. Since my mission is a lost cause at this point, it would take a 
perfect planetary alignment for this one to happen at this point to uh, run across Casey in this absolute maze of New York. It's still possible. Happened once, right? Lightning strikes the same person twice sometimes. So I guess this is Chinatown or near it or something? Looks like it. Ban Mi Saigon, that is not China. Vietnam. But a uh, nice uh, festival. I guess maybe they're kind of still gearing up for it for the weekend because today is Thursday. I fly out tomorrow, Friday. I'm being filmed, uh oh. Okay, what is the occasion? I guess maybe just a weekend thing? Or is it some sort of a uh, specific celebration, festival, whatever? Pretty happening. Got full on amusement park rides, Ferris wheel. Well, I have to say a big thank you to Casey Neistat for inspiring me to make this video because I wouldn't have made it otherwise. I had absolutely no plans to make a video today. I've made other videos already in uh, New York and was also just kind of a little tired out and not really up for a big, like, try to capture New York kind of a uh, day, but here we go. This is just the way that it worked out, so... Right on. Thanks, Casey. I'm going to uh, help you out big time by plugging your channel. Give you a few extra subscribers. Casey Neistat, check him out. I'm of course kidding, he doesn't need my help, but... Uh, But uh, would have been nice to have run into him again and maybe get the chance to find out what he's doing in NYC, how long he's here for, or did he move back, or... Almost wishing I hadn't eaten back up there and waited till I came down here. Lots of great choices. Meatballs sounds good. Lots of amazing smells. Glad I detoured down here. Super happening. Man, this is turning into a long video. Hey, somebody else vlog in there. Out of the crowded tenements. See, that's an old Italian restaurant, Puglia. I've been Puglia. there since 1919. Yeah. But they saved up their money to move out of the crowded tenement apartments because that's how a lot of these apartments, as you can see, it's like a little low rise tenement buildings. Oh, Smyrna, I want to 
taking paper sauce. All right, end of the uh, fair down here. Whatever it is, there's something up there on the. Uh, On that sign there, welcome to, let's see. Looking from the other side. Welcome to San Gennaro. So is it like a Italian, a lot of Italian food, pizza. San Gennaro sounds very Italian. Maybe it's a Italian street food festival. All right, and here we got more food. Rambutan. I love rambutan. As I've mentioned once before in a tour of Kuala Lumpur, rambutan is the fruit that is on the cover of one of my all-time favorite albums, Curve, Pubic Fruit. Absolutely incredible, epic, epic album by one of my favorite all-time bands, London-based, mostly from the 90s. Tony Halliday and Dean Garcia, alternative, like, kind of shoegazing, ambient, industrial music. Man, this is turning into a long walk. <laughs> Obviously a Asian Chinese, I guess, uh, event. Italian Chinese? I don't know what's going on. As I said, I wasn't planning to make a video today. So definitely in the Chinese Chinatown area. This is the uh, pigeon gathering point. In memory of the Americans of Chinese ancestry who lost their lives in defense of freedom and democracy. So I wonder if it is referring to uh, World War II. April 29th, 1962. Interesting. Let's keep on walking and get to the water, one way or another. I'm ready to just kind of get a uh, view of the ocean, the Atlantic. You get what I'm saying? Like, her job is not to, like... There it is, World Trade Center, the new one. All right, got to uh, go get a closer look. But where the heck is the end of this metropolis? There we go, water. A bridge, what bridge is this? Brooklyn Bridge or? Yep, Brooklyn Bridge. Raindrops coming down, just a few. Where is that uh, World Trade Center building? 
somewhere around here. And so my battery is at 19, actually 18%. Is that it? No. Pretty amazing actually that it lasted this long. All of this video has been filmed with this one battery. As I said, I wasn't uh, planning on filming a video at all, so I didn't bring my uh, extra battery, but I think that is its other side right there with the spire sticking up. So I'll capture what I can with what I got left on my DJI Osmo action. And drops coming down harder. These buildings get a lot bigger when you get closer to them. Let's go for it. And here we go. I think this is the uh, site. Boom. September 11th, 2001. Today is September 16th, 2021. So five days ago. The uh, 20 year anniversary. Welcome to the WTC, World Trade Center. This thing is pretty crazy. I don't remember it being here. Maybe it was, but uh, when I was here in 2017, I came down to the World Trade Center site. It's like a dinosaur spine. Like a, uh, trying to think of which dinosaur with the big thing like that. Not Triceratops, not a pterodactyl, not a, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, what do you call it? With the big thing on its back. are here, five WTC. I hadn't realized there are Yay. seven. I wonder which ones are new and which ones are the old. I know three went down, right? On uh, September 11th. Was it WT7? WTC7, the one that just like out of the blue collapsed? Check it out, Morris Street, my last name. Awesome. So you don't realize how big New York is until you try to walk it. Man, oh man, so uh, here we are. Back to my hotel is 3.3 miles and of course that is straight, whereas I kind of zigzagged around a little bit, so I've walked somewhere in the neighborhood of 3.5 to uh, 4 miles, 
Now, looking at this uh, map, you can't exactly tell what is Manhattan because it is an island, but it is a island with a uh, very narrow channel separating it from the rest of New York. So of course New York includes five boroughs. Manhattan is just one of the uh, boroughs. And so I think the uh, top of Manhattan is like around there. So I've only walked like a quarter of the length of uh, the Manhattan Island. And that is just one of the five boroughs of New York City. And then of course there's more metropolis beyond New York City even into Newark and I think like Connecticut and stuff. 20 million people in the full metropolitan area around uh, New York. Pretty insane. And I can see the water over there. Good thing my battery's at like 6%. Actually my battery's at 3%. It goes quick at the end. I might have to film this last little bit with my phone. So I'm using my phone now. It died before I could get to the water here. I forget if you can see the uh, Statue of Liberty from here. Let's find out. Battery Park. And there you go. Finally getting a glimpse of the water. And where is that statue? Yep, there it is. And Statue of Liberty. Gift from the French in, I don't know, 18 something, 1886 or something like that. Looks like boat's not running. Maybe it's too late. Right. And end of the whatever. All right, that is the end of this video. Man, I'm tired out. Considering I was planning to just go out and get lunch so, uh, time to find a subway station and catch a ride back. Definitely not walking all the way. Not today. Thanks for watching, and uh, sorry I didn't find Casey. I did my best. I walked all over the place, wore myself out. That is the end. Not the end end, but uh, the end of, for now, of filming because I'm catching a flight tomorrow back to Portland back to Salem to uh, pick up my car parked at my friend Eric's house and other adventures await quite possibly a break from the filming for uh, the next little while so uh, hope you enjoyed the European adventure and there will definitely be more to come at some point in the relatively near future we shall see Take it easy, hasta luego, sayonara, fear malengue. See you later.